Hello, beautiful people. Thank you so much for joining. It's Darnell, and I'm here with another video. So this video is for those of you that have been thinking about starting your life journey or contemplating on if you want to start your life journey soon, but not sure how, and you feel like you're not even really sure where to start, this video is definitely for you. Okay, so I would definitely say that now is a great time to start your life journey if you've been thinking about starting it. And the reason why I say that is because the odds are basically in your favor. Now, as you all know, we all are dealing with a pandemic and pretty much all of us are stuck at home. Well, that's one of the main reasons why I think now is a great time to start your locks if that's what you've been thinking about doing anyway. Now, you get a chance to start your locks in the comfort of your own home on your own time. And you'll also have a chance to see if you like how you look with the new locks. You know, when I first started my locks, I really wasn't a fan. <laughs> I wasn't a fan of how they look because, you know, my hair was just so stringy and I'll definitely insert a picture for you guys to see it if you haven't seen it before. But I wasn't really a fan of the look, but being the fact that I worked from home, it gave me a chance to give it a little bit of time and to become more comfortable with how I looked because now I look different. I didn't have big fluffy curly hair anymore. I had very fine skinny locks <laughs> to say the least. So I would say that if you do decide to start your journey during this time when you're working from home, then it's great because you'll actually be given the time to gain a little bit more confidence with your new look. I think we'll probably be working from home for maybe the next couple weeks. That's a perfect amount of time to start your locks and to get used to them. So I'll give you guys a list of the different types of locks, just in case you're not quite sure which look you actually want. So you have the first type of locks, which are comb coils. Now, comb coil locks are installed using a comb and usually some type of product like a gel. I'm not sure if they use like a, a creamy based product for that, but for the most part, there's a gel involved and a tiny tooth comb. And usually lacticians install comb coils. Now, being the fact that we all have to practice social distancing, comb coils will probably be out of the question for you to use as your starting method because right now you can't go to the salon and you really shouldn't have anyone from a salon coming to you either. So unless you know how to install comb coils on your own, I would suggest that you may want to look into the other forms of starting your locks instead. The second type of locks that you can start are the two strand twist locks, which is what I use to start my locks. Now, all that requires is a comb and some time. <laughs> so you just have to part your hair and create two strand twists from the root to the tip of, to the end of your hair and just do that all over. And you just wait for the lock to, for the twist to actually turn into locks. That method I would say is relatively easy. I don't think it takes really long to start seeing um, your hair change and bud and bunch up to actually become locked. It usually starts at about between like that three month mark. Um, and it may be sooner for some people, but for myself, I believe I started to really notice that my hair was staying locked at the root for the most part at like the three month mark. The next type of locks you can start are sister locks. Now these locks are very tiny and when they're all together, it almost gives the illusion that your hair is just thick and full and voluminous. And you almost can't tell that they're locks until you really look at them. And then you can tell it, oh, wow, those are locks. They're really pretty. I do admire them a lot. And the only thing is that you have to install a lot of them because they are very tiny. So if you have that level of patience and if that's the look that you actually want, I say go for it. Do it over the course of a few days 
and then you'll be done. The next type of method that you can start with is the semi free form method. So basically you can start your locks, right? Using let's say the two strand twist method and then you just don't retwist them for a long time. So you just let the hair transform and mature and start to become locked, but you don't actually do what we call retwist where you are retwisting the roots. You don't do that so often. So maybe let's say you'll start your two strand twist and then not try to retwist your hair until three months in or six months in and you basically keep that up. You don't, you continue to just let your hair do its thing and then maybe retwist for the second time, six months from the first time. The other way that you can start your locks is to freeform. And freeforming them does not require any tools. It does not require any special methods. It doesn't require any products. All you're doing is washing your hair. You let it air dry and you leave it alone and you just wear it in its natural state and you go to sleep with it that way, you wake up with it that way, you don't do anything to it. You just let it do its thing and you continue to wash your hair and let it air dry. And eventually it will just lock on its own. And um, freeform locks, you can tell that they're freeform for the most part because you won't see any parts. Um, the hair looks really full from the root and usually they grow out before they fall down. So that's just how locks go, especially when you use the freeform method. The last method that you can try is lock extensions. Now, let's say you just don't have the patience to go through all of the steps within the journey to get to the end result, which is locked hair you can get lock extensions. Now, to my knowledge, they're usually installed by someone at a salon or someone that pretty much is a professional at them and can install them for you. But again, in this case right now, since we have to practice social distancing, I would not suggest that you try to partner up with a loctician or um, a beautician to install these locks. I think you should just either wait or look into doing another method. Or if you think that you are skilled enough to install them yourself, you can do that as well. But you do run the risk if things don't quite go right. So I wouldn't really suggest going that route on your own, but it's really up to you. It's your decision. So I know some of you may be thinking, okay, I wanna start my locks. Wait a minute, how do I part my hair? Okay, so there are actually different ways that you can part your hair, which will affect the overall look of your locks. So you have different ways of parting your hair. You can do what's called, um, I can't remember the exact name, but they it basically looks like you're drawing a half circle in your scalp, so you just <laughs> do like a little curve part and then you let's say you do your twist or your comb coil and then you do the next one and at the end of it all it just it looks so pretty first off let me just say that I really do like that method I like the way it looks um, I think it looks great whenever you do decide to wear your hair in different styles some updos half updos half down like it just looks so pretty to me so there's that then you can do the brick layer method where you basically just have the straight lines, the straight rows. And then for the next row, you'll just kind of stagger the locks. So they won't actually be like directly on top of each other. There'll be like one here, one here, one here, one here. So there's pretty much never an empty space when you do it like that. Um, you can, if you want, stack them right on top of each other. That's completely up to you too. Another way of parting your hair for locks is the diamond shape or the diamond, yeah, the diamond <laughs> parting method. Okay, so that method looks so gorgeous. Like I'm such a fan. 
Now, I really wanted that method for my locks, but I have a really hard time parting my hair. I don't know. I think it's just my hair though, to be honest, because I always had an issue with parting my hair to like get really sharp, straight lined. Maybe it was the, the combs that I used, I don't know. But um, I think to do that method, it may be easier if you have help. So if there's someone that lives with you that doesn't mind helping you out to part your hair, um, to do the diamond method, I would say go for that if that's what you like. Again, look at these pictures and just kind of get an idea of which look you think would work best for you and your hair type because that plays a huge part. I'm not sure of any of the other parting methods. I think that's, I think I pretty much covered them all. But yeah, I would suggest, as I always do, if you're thinking about starting your journey, definitely do your research, get very clear on everything from why you want to start your lock journey to how you want them to look and what your overall goal is um, as far as your locks go and take it from there. I mean, if you're like this close to starting your journey, I say go for it. Now is the best time. So I hope you all have enjoyed this video. I hope this has been very informative for you. Um, I hope I've taught you something that you didn't know before. <laughs> and if you know anyone that may find this video helpful, please feel free to share it and I will greatly appreciate it. I thank you all so much for watching. And if you haven't already liked this video, please like and subscribe. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.